I just want them to, you know, stop slandering my name. And that's what they're doing. They're slandering my name really bad. A Waco club owner is firing back at police tonight who say a shooting took place in a parking lot early this morning. Crush, the new offset club on Ruby Avenue, opened just two weeks ago. Good evening and thank you for joining us on Fox 44 News, the weekend edition. I'm Renee Summer Hour. The new club used to be the two mini strip club in a different location. Fox 44 is Christina Bauer. She now joins us live in the studio after speaking with that club owner. Christina, what are the police? What does he think that the police are trying to do to him? Renee, Randy Gober, the owner of the club, is accusing Waco police of racial profiling and making it difficult for a businessman to succeed in this city. I don't want my name slandered. Randy Gober operates this site, which he calls the new offset club, but some people call it crush. He accuses police of lying about a shooting incident last night. Police say two groups were arguing in the parking lot of the club and then someone opened fire just a few yards away from where a marked police car sat in plain sight. But Gober claims the gunfire didn't happen in his parking lot and showed us this security camera footage, he says, proves that. They picked up shell casings down the street. They did not pick them up at 641 Ruby. It's racial profiling and it's, it's me as well. Gober says police don't want him to run this club and refuse to help him. We can't even get off due to police officers to come over here and work because we get, they got calls get calls from Waco telling them not to come over here and work because it's a bad place. Years ago, Gober ran another club with the name Crush on North 25th Street. I had the same problem out of Waco PD that I'm having now. This is not nothing new, and it's not nothing new for black clubs. We took Gober's accusations to Sergeant Patrick Swanton of the Waco Police Department. He texted back, quote, be sure to look at the history of his club, and no, we won't respond to his nonsense. So we did and found past reports of gunfights at the former Crush Club. One of those happened back in 2014. A shootout sent one man to the hospital. The club's owner says he is planning on taking a legal action against the police. As for last night's shootings, there were no injuries reported. Live in the studio, Christina Bauer, Fox 44 News.